What's going on guys, your boy Guru here, and today I bring you a Steps in Foundation base build. Now this base is pretty cool in my opinion. As you see right there, just standard triangle airlock right there with your drop box and your tool cupboard straight in the middle with three doors to the center if you have all armor doors. Symmetrical on both sides and right here is your jump hatch guys. You can store something there if you want to, completely up to you. Sleeping bags and just some storage. And right here, this is where all the magic happens. This is the middle part of the base. Pretty much where our loot room is, everything you're gonna need to survive your wipe and enjoy your wipe. Two beds, seeing it's a duo base. Your fridge, furnaces, four boxes right here in the storage area with the protection of an armor door. And right here on the opposite side, exactly the same. You have your research bench with the new scrap thing. The thing's pretty cool, you can research anything. And right here, this is where I would store the main loot. Just because of the turrets, it's completely safe. If they drop down here, the turret's gonna fuck them up. So this is where I would store my stuff. I think it's pretty cool. It's pretty nice and compact. Onto our top floor, guys. Pretty nice and open. Completely up to you and how you want to build it. You can close it off. Ladder hatch to shoot down people. All angles of the base are protected. Completely up to you. Like I said, how you want to build it. Complete windows, anything here. It's up to your own creativity. Sand barricade just to shoot people, get some headshot glitch maybe. I don't know, just some idea guys and the rest is up to you. I hope you guys enjoy this one and enjoy the base build. Cool, so on to the base build guys. All you want to start off with is a square. As you can see right here, you just pop a square. You pop four triangles on each side. And you block it off with the square going the desired direction in what you want it to go. Now in the middle space you just complete the thing, the triangles in. Now what you want to do is you want to take stairs and place it on the, on the square parts, block it off the triangle and just repeat this on all sides of the floor plan. After you've done that, that's how the base should look like in twig. Now what you want to do is you just want to destroy those two buildups and the square foundation in the lower part and then just go back with squares and repeat this process on the opposite side. Now once you have this floor plan this is your final thing and you can actually start to upgrade now. So I'm making everything sheet metal just because I think it looks the best in my opinion um, and I like it, it's cheap as well. And now all you want to do is you just want to place doorways in the desired way you want to exit. If you want to have a two way exit it's completely up to you otherwise just use one. And now I'm just completing the honeycomb as you can see. Upgrade that one to sheet just to prevent pickaxing. Same with the doorways. Now what you want to do, you just want to create these pods on the squares. So basically what you're just going to do, you're just going to place walls all the way around. This is where one of the loot rooms are going to be and the other opposite side is going to be where your jump hatch is going to be. Upgrade everything to the desired stone or metal, whatever one you desire and which one you choose, completely up to you. Just upgrade everything and follow the way that I'm going in the chronological order. Now the next thing you want to do is you just want to place roofs. Now the next thing you want to do, you want to place floor triangles on the first floor basically just to block it off and make it harder for them to get TC if they blow from the top and what you can do now is you can actually use this as your starter base at the moment so what you can do is or move your loot from your starter base into this base by just blocking off the top right here placing your sheet double doors right here and then just completing all the doors with either armored or sheet just to create a safe base where you can live in for now. 
this complete dining home. Now once you have enough, you can actually build up and do the second layer of the base. Now that I'm just placing there to actually prevent people from blowing off my door straight away. If it was sheet, it just saves me some rockets. Same here. Quite self-explanatory. Now once you've built up those two layers right there, you just want to complete the honeycomb on the inner side. Straightforward, quite easy, and then you just want to place the floors just to complete the honeycomb basically and close it off. Because this is where you're going to have your main chilling area basically, where you're going to have all your loot, etc. Now all you want to do now, you want to basically start to create your main loot room. That's what I'm doing right now. Building everything close and building it in one layer up so you can actually build and start moving loot upwards. Now the inner part of the base is completely up to you and how you want to do it. You can't go actually wrong in the way of means of building it and doing it in your own way. It's completely up to you. Um, the way I did it is just to show you guys ideas and concepts to use and to improve on them. Just showing you there that I'm upgrading these so people don't pick if they blow down from this side right here. Then they can't actually get side of the base because pickaxing sheet metal is a lot more harder than pickaxing soft side stone. Just adding some more floors and your ladder hatch right here, which is going to lead to your main loot room. There's your ladder hatch entrance, your jump hatch. Close that off. With the new update, you don't really want an easy path for a radar to get onto your roof. So my main goal was to close everything off or make it at least two ladder hatches to get down to the loot or to this middle part area let me rather say that just on top lock it off once again and once you put double doors right here you can start to move your main loot now where these double doors are is obviously where your main loot is going to be um, if you actually want to store it there at this moment i'm completely up to you and i wouldn't copy the base exactly but i would use the concepts and the rest right here guys is straightforward and it's really easy to follow
You don't have to copy this, it's completely up to you. Just an just idea and a concept you can use to actually just secure loot a bit more in my opinion and make it a bit more difficult for the raider to get because offline raids are a thing now and people are always just going to do that um, seeing it's so easy to build up to a base. So your main idea is to protect your loot at all costs and make it so much more difficult to raid them. With the new update as well, uh, those shotgun turrets are a way to actually improve your base even more. They didn't include them in this in one because this base build has been done quite a while and I've only published it now, so just forgive me on that one. Just placing your turrets and your boxes right after this. So after you've done that and you placed your ladder hatch right here, you just want to complete the honeycombing on the top with floors as well. Just to close it off and make a nice and path to walk onto and make it two layers or three layers to get down to that main loot area. Just closing off the honeycomb on the top floors. Now, as you can see, it's double layered right there, as you see with the two floors. So if they decide to blow through there, they are going to use about twice as much as C4 or rockets as I would per normal roof. And that's pretty much your top part done. Um, now the this part, as I said in the base too, is completely up to you on how you want to build it. This is just the top floor. Um, so if you want to keep it as open as I did, um, it's completely up to you. But if you want to do it with windows, etc. and make it a bit more secure, it's also possible to do that. The base has that capability to be expanded even more and to be bigger. But this is just a concept base and ideas for you guys to use. Now, I wouldn't really do this and implement it in my base, but I'm just showing this for video purposes. If you place signboards on the side of your base, they can't actually place ladders on top of that since the new update, if you guys have heard about that or know about that. Um, but another way to actually prevent this is to place spikes on the ground, which I would actually do, because um, you can't actually build um, on the spikes. And I would probably spam my base with hikes and walls. Um, firstly, because it makes your base more secure, and people can't actually build um, in that vicinity of the high external wall. So I think that's pretty strong, pretty OP. Um, but this is an option you can use. Um, but just may a bit to save on costs or something, you can do this spark thing early game to stop people from harassing you and building up to your base constantly. But that's pretty much base build guys, um, I really hope you guys enjoy this one and learn something and think it's a pretty decent base. I would probably use high accent of walls around this base for sure, um, just to make it a bit more secure and a bit strong. As you can see right here, you can't place. Um, but I really hope you guys enjoy this one and please stay tuned for the next one guys and thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Cheers.